At first at five, we are continuing to track tropical storm beta as it approaches the Gulf Coast. And while the storm's not expected to strengthen into a hurricane, gusty winds, heavy rains expected to arrive in the middle and upper Texas coast. As a precaution today, Governor Greg Abbott issued disaster declarations for 29 counties and they include Bear County. We have Adam Kasky on standby. We're going to be checking in with him for what we can expect here at home. But first, let's head over to Matagorda, where we found Kesat 12's meteorologist Justin Horn and photojournalist Bill Caldera. All right, Justin, we know Beta isn't going to do massive damage, but it does still pose some danger. What are you seeing? Obviously, you're getting soaked out there. Yeah, we got a pretty good squall coming through right now, guys. That storm is about uh, 20 off the coast and it's getting a little bit closer to us it'll be making landfall here pretty soon and i can tell you yeah the rain is heavy but it really has not been the rain or the wind that's been the problem it's been some of the storm surge and i want to show you and bill can show you this house here behind us that water has been creeping up on this house and they did take on some damage here with the flooding uh they say their first story there took on some water and uh, they've been dealing with that today now the water's actually down from where it was earlier believe it or not but there still could be some storm surge as this uh, system moves onshore. Uh, take a listen to what these homeowners had to say. Early we were dealing with a lot of water, obviously. Um, our house flooded probably about five inches downstairs. Um, all the debris come in over throughout the day and uh, it's a mess. So. so the good news here is that most of the damage that we've seen around here is minimal so it, again it's basically just been this water rise from the storm surge it's been up to about four feet in some cases and that has caused some issues but uh, the folks that live around here are prepared for this sort of thing they've dealt with it before here in Matagorda and it looks like the rain's going to continue for a while longer as this thing sort of lingers along the coast and as we speak the rain is letting up a little bit here where we are on the Texas coast but we'll continue to bring you some live updates coming up again here at uh, six o'clock. Back to you guys.